Good morning and welcome to Daily Morning Prayer. This is for Monday, April 26. We're continuing out of Common Prayer, a Liturgy for Ordinary Radicals. And on this date, we remember on April 26, 1986, a nuclear power accident in Chernobyl, Ukraine dispersed large amounts of radioactive debris into the air. The plume drifted over parts of the Soviet Union and Europe, extending as far as Ireland. The most contaminated areas were in Ukraine, Belarus, and Russia, forcing the evacuation and resettlement of 336,000 people. There were 56 direct deaths. It is estimated that 800,000 others suffered radiation exposure. O Lord, let my soul rise up to meet you as the day rises to meet the sun. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. And our song for this morning is Guide My Feet. Guide my feet, Lord, while I run this race. Guide my feet, Lord, while I run this race, guide my feet while I run this race, for I don't want to run this race in vain. Guide my feet and hold my hand, set my heart on heaven's way. Our psalm for this morning is Psalm 119, verses 105 through 108, and then jumping ahead to verses 111 through 112. Your word is a lantern to my feet and a light upon my path. I have sworn and am determined to keep your righteous judgments. I am deeply troubled. Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, O Lord, the willing tribute of my lips and teach me your judgments. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. Truly, they are the joy of my heart. I have applied my heart to fulfill your statutes forever and to the end. Guide my feet and hold my hand. Set my heart on heaven's way. Our Old Testament reading continues out of the book of Leviticus. We're in chapter 19, verses 26 through 37. <clears throat> God commanded, do not eat anything with blood in it. Do not practice divination or sorcery. Your men must not trim the hair on their heads or the edges of their beards in mourning. You must not gash yourself when mourning for the dead or tattoo yourself. You must keep my Sabbaths and have reverence for my sanctuary. I am the Lord. Do not resort to mediums or visit necromancers, for you will be defiled by seeking them out. I am the Lord. Stand up in the presence of the aged, respect the elderly, and by this you will honor the Lord. I am the Lord. Do not mistreat foreigners who reside in your land. The foreigner who lives among you must be treated like one of your own. Love them as you love yourself. For you too are a foreigner in the land of Egypt. I am the Lord. Do not cheat when measuring length, weight, or quantity. Use honest scales and honest weights, an honest dry measure and an honest liquid measure. For I, the Lord, brought you out of Egypt. You must keep all my statutes and all my laws and carry them out. I am the Lord. Our New Testament reading comes from 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 13 through 25. So make your minds ready for action and be sober. Put your hope in nothing but the grace that will be given you when Jesus Christ is revealed. Be children of obedience. Don't behave the way you did when, in your ignorance, you your desires were all you knew. Be holy in everything you do, since it is the Holy One who has called you. As scripture says, you will be holy as I am holy. When you pray, you call on Abba God, who judges everyone impartially on the basis of their actions. Since this is so, conduct yourselves reverently during your sojourn in a foreign land. Realize that you were delivered from the feudal way of life your ancestors handed on to you, uh, not by any diminishable sum of gold or silver, but by Christ's blood, which is beyond all price. 
the blood of a spotless, unblemished lamb, foreknown before the world's foundation and revealed for your sake in these last days. It is through Christ that you are believers in God, the God who raised Christ from the dead into glory. Your faith and hope, then, are centered in God. By obedience to the truth, you have purified yourselves for a genuine love of your dear siblings. Therefore, love one another constantly from the heart. Your rebirth has come not from a perishable seed, but from an imperishable one, the living and enduring word of God. For as Isaiah says, All people are grass, and the glory of mortals is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower wilts, but the word of our God endures forever. Now this word is the good news which was proclaimed to you. Guide my feet and hold my hand, set my heart on heaven's way. Dorothy Day, co-founder of the Catholic Worker Movement, wrote, We believe that spiritual action is the hardest of all. To praise and worship God, to thank God, to petition God for our siblings, to repent of our sins and those of others. This is action, just as the taking of cities is action, as revolution is action, as the corporal works of mercy are action. And just to lie in the sun and let God work on you is to be sitting in the light of the sun of justice, and the growth will be there. And joy will grow and spread from us to others. That is why I like to use so often that saying of St. Catherine of Siena, All the way to heaven is heaven. Because Jesus said, I am the way. <clears throat> Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Open our eyes to see your glory in the smallest things, that we would live with the faith and the boldness required to believe that all the way to heaven truly is heaven. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors.